And So, uh, the objectives are my, of my lecture is to state essential principles of human genetics and birth defects. Can everyone hear me, ha? Okay lang? Okay, sige. Yes, Pudo. And then, to describe the Mendelian and non-Mendelian patterns of inheritance in humans and least examples of disorder for each type, and to explain the different types of chromosomal abnormalities, and to be able to discuss the different types and mechanisms of mutations in genes leading to disease. So before we come to the lecture proper, we will we'll first re revisit the following terms. I know, Kerina Naton ini, but then parang for this lecture only, genetics, the science of heredity and biological variation, Genotype is the set of genes of an organism. Meaning set siya. So each one of us composed of set of genes. Di pwede maging uh, mawaray ito sa kaset. Kasi kung waray, so we are not here, di ba? Phenotype is a physical manifestation of the gene, genes. And alleles are the different versions of a gene that occupy the same locus. So the phenotype is the physical. The alleles are the versions. So the alleles have of two types, homozygous and heterozygous. Homozygous are individuals with identical alleles for a given glucose. The heterozygous are the individuals with different alleles for a particular glucose. So the dominant, there are two kinds of traits. I know, I know you all know this, the dominant and the recessive. The dominant trait if a gene in a pair specifies the phenotype instead of the other genes. The recessive traits are traits or diseases that manifest only when both copies of the genes are the same. And then the locus is the region of the chromosome where a gene is found. Okay na? Okay na kata definition ha? So let's, let's come to this. This is called a pedigree. I know, I hope every one of you knows this. This is the drawing ko nag, nag ano kata genetic uh, parang uh, history taking. So we draw this para, so in the history taking, we draw this kind. So this is the recessive inheritance, it's the nominant inheritance. So ano po yung meaning yung recessive? The trace or disease that manifests only when both copies of the genes are the same. So the same siya. It is ano parang Sha is symbolized by the small letter N. Dominant inheritance, parang, ano yung meaning nun? Is if a gene in a pair specifies the phenotype instead of the other gene. Diba? So affected father, normal mother. So recessive, both may the carrier. So aside from physical history, uh, PE and history taking, we also take our genetic history taking. But there are, there are instances that we only use this. So we do this in order to know if disorders, this, there are disorders that might be irritable, health status of relatives up to the third degree, kaya nga, hindi tayo pwede mag-fall sa ating mga relative, di ba? Bawal na in love, up to the third degree. So if you know someone, pakianihiya, ganito, ganito, oh, mag-ano ka rin, mag-pedigree ka rin, di ba? Mag-drawing. So yun. 
joke as joking aside. So abnormal reproductive outcomes, past and present drug exposure of the modern partner, the age of the parents, and the ethnic origin is also essential. Diba? So these are the symbols, common symbols used to construct pedigrees. So hindi na ako mag chan So in genetics, kaya nga may genetics tayo na subject because nowadays, common sa atin na uh, their parents will come to us na, Dok, bakit ganito yung anak ko? Bakit ganito? So we, when every time hindi sila magkaanak or nagkakaanak sila, palagi may abortion or their, their children have parang different mga physical features or something different from the normal ones. So we do genetic counseling. Sa genetic counseling, hindi lang yan pa counsel counsel na ganyan. If we are general pediatricians, general physicians, we usually refer this, this patients to a team composed of the geneticist, the obstetrician, and the laboratory. So the primary care provider in which we are the ones, the general practitioners, na refer na this obstetrician. So this obstetrician or this pediatricians who are uh, parang trained to do this will refer this to the geneticist. Who are these geneticists? Where can we find them? In the Philippines, we can find them at UP. Uh, UP Diliman meron. And then, uh, as far as I know, we are referring our patients sa newborn screening a center, which is uh, found in Iloilo. Madami silang geneticists doon. So, kita ng mga general practitioners, general providers, the primary care providers, usually we note for the maternal age, the consanguinity of the parents, early infant losses, may mga abortions ba, grabe daw one, pera, para, ano, ganyan. In early infant losses, abnormal TRC, fetal anomalies, and then teratogen exposure of the mother or both parents. So birth defects are abnormalities that affect the body structure or function, including metabolism. The cleft lip or palate is the most common birth defect in the country. So in Mendelian genetics, mutations in genes involving only a single genetic glucose, single genetic glucose, monogenic, meaning single lang siya na parang ano yung glucose, dyan nakalagay yung ating genes, di ba? So there are five lists, the autosomal dominant inheritance, autosomal recessive inheritance, X-linked dominant inheritance, X-linked recessive inheritance, X-linked inheritance. And I don't know about this pala, ganyan. So I'm just going to explain this to you according to my readings. Kasi hindi naman ako geneticist, di ba? Siguro pag may dana geneticist ng RTR, pwede ko na to ibigay, di ba? Na topic. So yun, as of now, Si Dr. Ras lang muna. So, yon. So, in autosomal dominant inheritance, this presence of an abnormal gene in one of the autosomes, di ba? So, the characteristics of this is the transmission is vertical, appearing in multiple generations. So, parang first degree, second degree, third degree, mayroon. Affected parents have the 50% chance of passing on the abnormal gene to their offspring and the familiar members who do not have the abnormal gene are unaffected and do not pass the disorder. So kagaya kanina, si father lang affected, si mother hindi affected, si mother hindi nakaka-pass ng genes. Diba? The males and the females are equally affected. So ito siya yung pedigree niya. So one parent affected. So, hope na intindihan niyo yung growing, o yung, yung illustration. Examples, oh, examples of this are, the common of this are the familial hypercholesterolemia. In my entire 10 years of practice as a physician, wala pa akong nakita nito. I don't know ha, sa mga high, high na nga mga centers sa Manila, sa Cebu, I don't know. So, one of the most common autosomal disorders in humans and this is due to a defect in the low-density lipoprotein receptor, your LDR gene on chromosome 19. Diba, bigatin siya, si LDR, si chromosome 19. Let's, ano, parang, i-turn on natin yung imagination natin. Ngayon. So, ngayon siya. Mag-imagine tayo. So, LDL, our low-density lipoprotein, 
this transports our cholesterol from the liver to the tissues of the body. So kung decrease siya, parang mag-increase, di ba? Si low is the bad cholesterol, di ba? As far as I know, ha? Biochem. So the manifestations is increased levels of circulating cholesterol. Kaya nga, kasi bad cholesterol, so nag-increase siya. Loss of the feedback inhibition of the HMJ-CoA reductase. Do you still remember HMJ-CoA? <laughs> Ako 10 years na, kasama ko pa rin siya. I don't know kung may may naiba na sa kanya ngayon, di ba? So increased phagocytosis of the low-density lipoprotein by the macrophages. So a person having this will uh, present with elevated serum cholesterol, skin and tendon syndromes, santilasmas, and premature atherosclerosis. So parang naninigas kahit bata pa, di ba sa mga sa mga matatanda in Nigeria, common sa kanilang atherosclerosis kasi nga part of aging. Pero sa mga bata dapat wala. The treatment is statins. This causes the inhibition of the of your HMJ CoA reductase. Ano na imagine mo na ngayon si pathway, si HMJ CoA pathway. Sana na imagine ha, di rin ako mabalik itong ito. Kasi diri di naman ako magbabayo, Kem, di ba? So, are you familiar with this person? Sino siya? Ano, alam niya. Nakilala ka mo niya? Do you know him? Sino siya? Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, President of the United States of America. Doctor, what is he doing there? Bakit siya naging part ng genetics? Very much an example of genetics siya. Di ba ang taas niya, ang ahaba ng mga extremities, di ba? Napapansin niyo ba yung features niya? Yung face, yung, yung mga extremities, yung height, di ba? So what does Abraham Lincoln have? He has Marfan syndrome. Familiar? Mga dear? Are you familiar with Mr. Marfan syndrome? Or mag imagine lang naman tayo. Familiar? Yes, no. Ah, oo, di ba? Ang daming ganito, nakikita natin sa movies, mga artista na parang ang haba ng mga extremities, ang haba ng mga ulo, ganyan, mga lieg, ano ba yan. So prevalence of 1 in 5,000 in the general population. This is a connective tissue disease caused by the mutation in fibrillin 1. Si fibrillin na naman, FBN1 gene on the long arm of chromosome 15. Si hypercholesterolemia is chromosome 19. Si Marfan syndrome is chromosome 15. Mga board exam talaga ito, di ba? Fibrillin is a glycoprotein which is essential for the formation of elastic fibers found in your connective tissue. So fibrillin 1 gene provides the instructions for making fibrillin. So yun, that's the story. So para makag-diagnose tayo ng Marfan syndrome, we should use the clinical criteria which is known as the GENT nosology. This includes parang... Uh, this includes, the, uh, we will note for the muscular deformities, we will note for the tall stature, and usually long and slender limbs, scoliosis, chest fold deformities, arachnodactyl yung ahaba ng mga fingers, hyperextensibility of the joints, and then the cardiovascular aberration. Some patients will have mitral valve prolapse, mitral regurgitation, aortic root dilatation, aortic competence, which will be diagnosed through your to the echo. Ocular abnormalities, which includes your myopia, ectopilentes, and then pulmonary disorders, such as spontaneous pneumothorax, apical blebs, skin abnormalities, such as trea tropica, hernias, lumbosacral dural ectasias, and then this revised chant and nosology puts more weight on the cardiovascular disorder. As far as I know, when I was in PCMC, Ang uso ng Marfan syndrome doon kasi ang daming mga mga adolescents na ang tataas. So what we do usually parang na memorize na namin si Gent. Si si Maring Gent na memorize na namin to para ma-diagnose namin si Paring Marfan. Ganyan. So uh, usually pag nag ano kami, nakikita namin agad na may mga long extremities, we usually do our a uh, cardio exam to the echo ganyan. So pag nag-positive siya, isa lang 
usually label the patient as Marfan syndrome. So aortic root aneurysm and ectopilentis are also identified as cardinal clinical features. So in the absence of a family history and presence of these two manifestations, it is already sufficient for the unequivocal diagnosis of your Marfan syndrome. The treatment is the prevention of the complications. Kaya nga, the complications, the cardiovascular complications. So yun yung tinitreat natin. So we give beta blockers. Affected individuals may have shorter lifespan due to cardiovascular complications, di ba? So ito siya. The inheritance of the Marfan syndrome. So si father ang meron, si mother wala. So half-half. 50% of the children will get the Marfan syndrome. So this is the revised chant criteria. I will not anymore elaborate on that. So may meron siya mga katumbas na mga weight of numbers. So maximum total of 20 points. Uh, scores of more than 7 indicate systemic involvement. So ito siya. Ito yung picture. Si pectus carinatum, pectus excavatum. And then you note for this one the rest sign. Commonly we do that. Kasi parang hindi talaga natin maabot yung rest natin. Pero kung ang haba-haba ng mga kamay, maglalalahos pa, di ba? More than pa. Ito siya. Try nyo sa inyong lahat. The thumb sign. Uh, when which the thumbnail projects beyond the border of the hand. Ako wala. So wala talaga kong marfans kasi short ako. Di ba? Dwarfism ang sa akin. Then, ectopia lentis, dislocation of the ocular lens. And then, your tick dissection, di ba? Kilala niyo siya, ang gwapo-gwapo niya, di ba? Sino siya? Or, ako lang mga ka-age group, charot. Kilala niyo siya? Hello? Si Vampire Dan. Yeah, si Vampire Dan. <laughs> di ba? So, ang gwapo-gwapo niya. So, for that perfect face alone, parang sasabi natin na walang sakit, di ba? Ito siya. Tingnan nyo yung kamay. Hyperelastic. Yun yung kanyang parang ability. Special ability daw niya niya. Yung artista na yan. So, aside from the very, very parang perfect na face, he has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Ay, ano? Kerry si Ehlers. Kilala niyo si Ehlers? Ang kanyang family name, Danlos. Ay, palitaw, no. Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. This is a group of disorders characterized by defect in the collagen structure synthesis, resorting abnormal production and the secretion of your collagen. This is prevalent in 1 into 5,000 population. So the manifestations of skin and blood vessel fragility, hyperextensibility, transparent skin, hypermobile joints, delayed wound healing. So there are six types. The classical type in which there is skin hyperextensibility, widened atrophic scars, joint hypermobility leading to sprains and dislocations. The hypermobile type, the vascular type, which is thin translucent skin, uh, arthrochalacia type, with severe generalized joint hypermobility and recurrent subluxations and congenital hip dislocation. Ito siguro yung mga sa, ano yan? Uh, circus, di ba? So circus, parang ganun. Akala natin, ano, mga ano, gifted children, gifted people, pero may pag, may pag ano pala, mayroon palang sakit. The dermatosparexis type, severe skin fragility and sagging redundant skin. Madami itong nakikita dyan sa Facebook na ganyan. Kyphoscaliosis type, the generalized joint laxity, severe muscle hypotonia at birth, Onset of progressive scoliosis at birth, scleral fragility, and rupture of the scleral globe. May patient kami ng resident te ako sa Ibor MC, pero wala siyang rupture of scleral globe. Ano, minanage siya, nirefer siya sa geneticist, parang dinayagnose siya as Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Pero hindi namin siya na ano, hindi namin siya na, i, na ilaban for, for mga case presentation kasi kulang kami ng labs, laboratories, yun lang. Ang dami natin, tingnan nyo, pag nag-clerkship nag kayo, nag-intern, nag nag-residente, ang daming patient, which will be, uh, parang, if you can see them, one case, hindi mo na makakalimutan. Sabi mo, 
thank you Lord, naging doktor ako. Diba? Parang ganun ba? So, it's not only that you will... The lesson in this in this subject is that we should treat our patient holistically. Mag, mag-history tayo, mag-physical exam, hindi lang kung anong... anong pinunta ng patient ubo ubo lang pinunta ubo lang iti-treat mo di ba so you should interview you should make history you should do your physical examination thoroughly marami pa kayong makikita sa yung mga pasyente so yun so the treatment is conservative and preventive measures which includes physical therapy wearing your protection pads or stockings and avoiding contact sports kawawa naman sila pero yung mga nag nag ano nag acrobatic ano namang movements, parang okay lang sa kanila, di ba? Hindi sila nasasaktan. Yun yung question ko. Meron ba sa kanila nag, uh, ano, na parang doktor ba? Sa, sa, ano, sa circus. Yun yung question ko na hindi ko pa nasasagot at wala pa akong natatanungan. Sana may matanungan ka, kayo niyan. Nagpa, nagpabulig pa, ano. So, this is our scoring. Yung kanina sa Morphan, si Gention, ngayon si Beton naman. So, one 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 siya. Hindi siya mahirap i ano, i memorize kasi ang mga ano niya, mga parang scoring of one lang siya. So, ito siya can you bend your thumb back? Baka may ma- ngayon ibeto score niyo mga sarili niyo baka mayroon kayo balita. So, you bend your thumb back, your right thumb again, then your left knee, your right knee, tapos can you put your hands flat on the floor with me straight? Can you ano, bend your little finger up to 90 degrees? Ang sakit niya, di ba? Right hand, left hand. And then, can you bend your elbow backwards? Amazing. Right arm, left arm, di ba? So, mga ganyan. So, this is again the, ano, the pedigree. So, this uh, first na ano, degree. So, parang mga female, mga males affected. Tapos, may females. So, second degree. Parang ang females na lang, 25%, ah, males 25%, then si female meron na. So, third degree niya, second degree, third degree pala. So, fourth degree parang hindi na masyado. More on males na lang, di ba? So, neurofibromatosis type 1 or bone wrinkling hosting disease, this is the defect on the tumor suppressor gene NF1 on chromosome 17. One out of 3,500 live births. We also had this one patient when we were on our residency training. A neuro patient brought in to us due to seizures. On and off seizures na parang pabalik-balik na, pabalik-balik, gin EEG na, maintained on phenobarbital, diagnosed with seizure disorder. When Dr. Latore handled the patient, na PE ni Dr. Latore, it was during the time that Dr. Latore was able to see the patient, that the patient was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis. Imagine that, di ba? Dahil hindi kami nag-PE ng maayos. Siyempre, residente, di ba? Yun lang, lesson. So, the manifestations are this one. The multiple neurofibromas, cafe au lait, spasosyal siya, cafe au lait, dish nudules, optic pathway gliomas, learning disabilities, short stature, seizures, hypertension, malignancies. And our patient, di ko siya makakalimutan even if I was already 10 years nga away from my pediatric residency, ang patient had cafe au lait spots, seizures, and hypertension. Yun yung manifestation ng patient namin. So the treatment is medi- minimal medical management Surgical intervention for tumors, screening for structural and functional complications every six months. Nakaridge na uh, during this time, parang alert na alert na kami. So I have this high index of, of suspicion in red color. Kasi why did I did I did this? Natagan kami hin 14 days de merit, iba o yon. So, di ko talaga siya makakalimutan. Ganun yan siya, yung mga cafe au lait spots. Di ba? Yan. Iihapit to hiya, we count that. Ito siya, yung sa, yung sa eyes. Di ba? What do you call that? 
the the optic pathway ah the lesion juice mga ganyan ito siya the optic pathway so for for diagnosing this uh, this is based on the presence of two of the following six or more cafe au lait macules over 5 mm in diameter in prepubertal individuals and 15 mm in greatest diameter in postpubertal individuals two or more neurofibromas Frickling in the axillary or inguinal regions, two or more lesion jewels, optic glioma, a distinctive osseous lesion such as phenoid dyspatia or thinning of the long bone cortex or with or without pseudoarthrosis. First degree relative, so we will ask, with any one by the above criteria. Diri kita mapakya na may daka relative nga may neurofibromatosis, may daka relative na may daka feolase, paso di ba social naman yan, di ba? So, In our own way, we will ask itong mother kung may da siya nakita ng mga relatives na ganun. So, ato nito ha, ato nito way kung paano natin aas. So, this is the end of my first lecture. And let's not take time to deliberate, but when the time for action arrives, stop thinking and go on, di ba? Ano inihiya? In a short way, please, kita at yung mga patient, panginanuahin maupay. Di ba? So, I'm to my video. So, actually, three parts in siya. Kasi mahaba, masakit sa nalamunan i-lecture. So, my question, my question, hello? Hi? May question po. Wala po ata, Dok. Oo. Okay, so, Dr. Arminita, can I ask you, uh, mares pa kita ha, kasi ang vocal cords medyo ano na. Uh, when is our next meeting? Sa so Monday? Do you have a class on Monday? Hello. Hello, Doc. Oo, may class ka mo sa Monday. Meron po, Doc. So, when will be our next meeting? Or we uh, will... Monday po, 4 to 6. Ha? Huh? Monday po, 4 to 6 p.m. 4 to 6. One hour na lang, di ba? Two hours po, Doc. Ah, two hours, 4 to 6. So, well, ayo, oh, 4 to 6. So, waray ako, ano? Wari ako, parya sa itong kan Dr. Ayaso nga, oh, medyo conflict ng schedule. Wala po doon. Okay, sige. So, I will finish the second part and then the third part sa Monday na lang, okay? Okay lang? Uh, sige, I will just share my slides. Sandali lang, ha? Huh?